give God the glory and praise. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, my name, Seko Lamaya. Shade Koso Broko Bakale. Sisi Beke Bero Barakati Kalabara Bosoto Labaros. Sisi Bebe Koto Bradish. Ede de Arase de Bosu. Bate Kede Koso Breko Loba. Yekisi Koso Breka. Yeke Sokalaka. Kabiyo. to God. Thank you for your divine instruction, so God blesses. Thank you for the blessings, so God, of Shiloh to the three, for the blessings of God of this month, the month of your goodness and abundant blessings. Thank you for all you've done for us, O God. We we'll give you the glory and praise of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. All two dishes in Shilo, one thing was very clear. It's all simple. That if you obey and serve him, you will spend your days in prosperity. One is service, one is obedience. And you know, an obedience seems to be the one at the top. Each time he teaches in the Shilo, he will put obedience as number one first before others. So if he says, uh, the Roman says, if you hack into the voice of God, I will set you on high above nations. It's not, it's, not, it's not going to give you what to eat. That is not, that thing is too small. That's what they call provision. So when they, he led them from Egypt to Canaan land, they are not working for what to eat. He was the one giving them food to eat. He didn't ask them to work for anything. He said, you, so, so that is the realm he, he operated with. The, with the, wilderness means time of dryness. That's famine. He's the one that provides for you in famine. Because in famine, it's God that you need to trust to give you what you need. Hallelujah. So when the companies are folding up, you know that God, you need to just uh, get the point. So he gave instruction. And I will pray the prayer before the thing came. You get the point? Pray, always pray for preserving what? The jobs that we have, that the jobs are present. And the incomes also increase. We, we, we pray the uh, So I didn't know that we were going to, to Shiloh to meet the thing really. So everything we were speaking was, it was confirming. Hallelujah. The last test we said was rise and shine. I mean, that's what he preached that first, that second day. Arise, shine. So, a woman used to call me my man of God. A very powerful deacon, deacon in my church when I was, uh, I served the living church. I said, I no one day, every time, man of my man, I know, I know her status in the church and the husband. So, he said, I'm not calling you that for fun. I said, I'll tell you why I call you the, uh, my man of God. See, every time you take us in WSF in your house, say, because I was a zona minister, she's the one in charge of myself, and other, other, the other young man. So I go out to do my own assignment, go around the cells and all that. So he says, each time you teach us, each time you come to take over for me to teach in your house, if you say, Papa repeats in Vapaten church the next Sunday, he says, he repeats all of them Vapaten. He said that means you know his heart before you go to church. See, that means you have the same spirit with the man of God. He says, it's not common. That's why I call you my man of, that's why I call you my pastor. He said, there are other many pastors here, but I call, there are those who are having the same heart to the man of God. Hallelujah. So that's the first thing. The heart with God and the heart with the one sent and the heart with the other. That's what brings the first, the first miracle in your life. Hallelujah. So when you, when you are always connected, you always hear. Hallelujah. I will come and teach them because they talk like this. And if I talk, that's what Papa will go and talk the next day. That means he's guiding to what is what's on ground. I want to teach. 
God gave, gave me something to tell you this morning. And it's as you obey it, eh? what happened? You'll be blessed. Hallelujah. We fly by what? Instruction. You drive by techniques. But flight, you don't fly by techniques. You fly by instruction. They give you, as you're going, they are giving you, without that, the plane will crash. So flight is by instruction. You, know, you want to fly is by instructions. This is what to do. That's what the plane takes off. But car, you can drive car with your normal sense and all those kind of stuff. And bicycle, all of them. But if you must fly, it's by what? Different what? Instructions. He said that look at the weather. Shall not what? Shall not so worry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you will beg what? In harvest. You will beg what? In harvest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Papa said, your worst enemy is what? It's me, Abby. What is it? Say? It's what? Your worst enemy is what? It's you. You are the, your, you are the your worst enemy, not, not, not devil. We are our worst enemies. Because we don't want to fight our body and our flesh to respond to God's instruction. So we become what? I was in the hallelujah. So in this time, if you don't walk in the spirit, ah, you need help. Oh. Yes. All those pharmacies that are folding up, going back, leaving the country. Now, next two food is saying he wants to leave in the country. What is left again for those? Where will they walk? So you know where, what, is, what I'm talking about. So when God was telling me last month to be able to pray again, preserving jobs, which almost summoned to our sister. You get the point? He does, he, he's, 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 he's telling you what to do. So the thing is down, it is those who hacking that will be escaping the stuff. Hallelujah. So the best to do now is to hack in and act immediately. Everything you're hearing from God. Don't joke with it at all. Then he will take you up. Hallelujah. So when men say they are casting what? You are saying what? They say lifting up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This Sunday, Sunday, uh, Harvest Sunday, hallelujah. If you have any testimony, in the, have any, it's a Harvest Sunday. And God said to us, he was talking about harvesting families. Harvesting families and harvesting families. Hallelujah. And they're coming in numbers in the name of <laughs> Hallelujah. Harvesting families, your neighborhood, and uh, many more. Means it can be anybody, it can be young, old, you can still be a part of it. But God is giving us families in the name of <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Husband, wife, children, Harvest to the house of God, to the church, and establish the house of God. That will be a testimony in the name of children. And this is it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is no harvest, there is no seed. Hallelujah. Harvest begin what? With a seed. So that you expect to harvest more. And the harvest is always bigger than the seed. Hallelujah. If you sow anything, you harvest more of it than the seed. God is awesome. He said, increase the temple of uh, the altar prayer. Abbey. And we increase it. We don't know also you say it was because he wanted to preserve some things. Hallelujah. Yes, your income source is very, very important. And then we start with we start getting first of all. In this family. The first thing is target is your income source. That's the first thing he wants to target. So we will not allow the altar. We will let keep the altar on fire and make sure it never happens. What is your own point oh, is to take instruction and do it. That's all. Is this not the time for people being lazy to prayer? No. It's time to be open. It will raise the blood and say, this, can, this, this cannot happen. And we stand by that it cannot happen. On the increase. So when men say there's a cat, I say what? They say lifting up for us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Daniel 12 verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to what? Righteousness as the stars of heaven forever and ever. God never lies. So one of the things that keeps me on earth confident is that I see every day the streets of God I'm going to enter very soon. That's why uh, uh, no nation in the world moves me like it moves me with others. Because I've seen, I've left that realm where you say you, abroad is a thing, is a in thing. That where abroad is, is shaking your body. No, I've left that place. All my concern, how, how I, did you, did you forward, fast forward this thing? Let us go and walk in the seat of God. That's where my mind is every day. It doesn't stop me from walking physically to make sure that I have children to take care of. No, that's not, that doesn't stop that. But it, you have, it, it means you have to be conscious to, to kill that your desire to want to kill yourself for other things on earth. That if you don't have a car, you want to die. You want to do, so what is the matter with you? Eh? If you're not married, you want to die. So, so, if you don't have children, you so, But they are all good. Are you getting born? You Are you hearing me? You will have them. But the point is that when you let your... It says, it says set your mind on this word above. I think that's Colossians 3. 
set your mind. Though you this is a day, when you are working hard, do your best, but let your consciousness be what above. Above. So we rapture till this, you are gone because you can't be here because you'll be washed. You can't be so while you are still laboring here, make sure your mind is focused. So boom, you are gone. So hey, thank you, Jesus. That's what you say. That's what you say. Because you are off. So he said, although you are here, set your things what above. Get instruction from above and do them. Eh? And escape whatever it is. Once you do what God says, you will escape whatever is on earth. You will escape it. Colossians 3 verse 1. If you then be risen with Christ, eh? if you are born again, if you are risen with Christ, it says, seek these things which are what? Above. Where Christ seated on what? On the right hand of God. Set your affection what on things above. He's talking above, not things what on the earth. It doesn't, it doesn't say you walk, you walk, but don't let it be an issue. They you see now, now it's common to talk about happiness in the house, in the market too. It's okay, but don't stay that kind of talk for long. What, what happened this morning to me when I'm taking my shower in the bed? Eh? God said this has been choked by the it's I don't like. We're talking about some which is not bad. Some of these things where things are rising, and he said, Worship me, worship me. And the voice will come with the tears in his eyes. So I began to cry too in the bitter room. That's what I said. I told that song came to me. Um, 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 that, that, one I took, uh, that song I took first. Uh, I adore thee. I adore thee. I adore thee. Oh dear, hallelujah, oh Lord. Then I began to weep in the bedroom. I began to cry there. And the place was engulfed with power. Don't stay on this caution that, that removes the Holy Ghost from the place. Don't dwell on the challenge. No, dwell on the word of God. Don't put your eyes on the factories that close down. No, it will give you fear. No. It says, what put what eyes? What above, Abi? Uh-huh. Because if you are not a part of those who go, you are not affected. Although you are in Egypt, but you are in Goshen. We are in Goshen. You are in Goshen. You are the reason why that company cannot go down. Because you are there. Because you are in Goshen. Why? You have raised the blood above whatever. You are the priest there. You are not an ordinary person at all. You are bigger than your manager in the office. But you obey because God says you obey what your leaders. You are not in his class if he's not born again. So if you don't, you're being there, it's what's keeping his, his job. You're not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not keeping his job for him. Because you're not keeping the company alive. Because you raised the blood over the company. He doesn't, he doesn't know what's happening. He's just coming as a guy. He doesn't know, this is the real guy. But you are humble and you are meek like your, son, your father in the law. Like your father. You are meek and humble. If you be risen, he says, set your eyes above. Put your eyes there. Talk about his goodness. I, I don't know, no, I know, but I'm not part of that. That's, uh, they get good. They talk about that. I'm not part of it. You have to speak it consciously. Yes. In family world, they shall be satisfied. That is the word of God. There is truth. There is the truth. Truth is that this is happening, but the truth says differently. And the truth is the counsel of God. Many are the counsel of men. The counsel of the world happening. But my counsel what is shall stand. So if you declare my own, I will make it stand in your life. That's what they say you're talking about. One of the ways to excel this beautiful world is to serve God. Hallelujah. In obedience. Especially in evangelism. Because as I pull him from fire, eh? Malachi 4 say, and the earth shall burn like a wind. It's already burning now with famine. It's burning. It's burning. It's already burning. He said, the earth shall burn. So, now, so, when you pull men out of fire, for, out of the real fire, which is fire, which is because they're not born again, into, into what heaven, heavenly places, then he will pull you from physical fire too. That's already burning on the earth. He says, time to follow. If that, if that, if that they follow, go bomber by bomber. That is time to follow bomber to bomber. Let your seed speak in the altar. 
If you consume all the seed, it's not healthy. No, no, no. Let your seed speak. Those who, there's bread for it, Abby. There's bread to eat. You don't have to eat. There's also seed to sow. Don't eat your seed. Don't eat your tithe. Don't try it. So as the altar is hot, your money is also it, that is the secret. There's no there's no big drama about it. As the priest keep the altar on, now you say, as we say, we say, we say, we say, we the we of we say, 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 we we increase it, the only, the only is to put what the taste on the altar. It's, it's like you, uh, you put a, a kind of, yeah, that's the noise. That noise, it goes up. It goes up. Eh? And the voice will come from up. This one is my own. This one is my own. They are part of me. They are my children. So it goes to fight your cause everywhere. Evangelism. As you go and bring them out from hell, he will be committed to bring out from physical hell. But the physical hell. Because there's two, there are two kinds of there's physical hell, the spiritual hellfire. There is a pain you are going through, even to take is actually hell. There's sickness, cancer, hell. Sickness, hell. There's poverty, hell. That brings your head down completely. You can't raise your head up at all, even among your pairs of family members. There are different kinds of hells. But he said that as you go to Germany to bring men out from hell. <laughs> Come to Ikoyi and take one million. No matter how sick you are, you're going to get up. You get up. You, no matter, even if your body is dying, you carry it the way it's dying and carry it to that place for one, one million now. What is God saying? He said, he said, put God in that one million now from now. Put, put, give honor to God and Mamo. And Mamo will bow to you. That's what he said. He bow to you. Papa gave honor to what? God. What happened? Mamo what? Began to bow to him. And bows till the day. Mamo still bows to him. Mamo still bows to him. So evangelism is the key. As you go and bring them from fire, God will make sure that the fire of the earth doesn't burn you at all. In Malachi, he says Malachi, I talk of that. He says something very important. He says he will separate those who serve and those who don't serve. This time, he will separate. He will bring. There will be a difference between they that serve God and they don't serve God. There will be God vow to make a difference as the earth is burning. I will make a difference between they that serve me and they don't serve me. That's what the Bible says. Look at Malachi three, pretty quickly. Malachi three. Masuba yeki da kalabundi. Maye Kalabo quickly, 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 quickly. Malebo so Kalabo. Siki Bakalabo. Verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord speak one of one of total honor. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And the book of remembrance will be. In other words, if you, those who fear God, what, what, what will they be saying? I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, I don't joke with my title. That's how they, I don't know how they talk. Is that not how they talk? I don't, I don't joke with service. So that, uh, see, they spoke one to what? And, because among the children, those who don't fear God. So they, they know themselves. So once you talk to A and B, this one, you, when you just, as you're talking to them, you know that ah, this one, the way he talks about God, I, 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 don't, I don't want to lie. Yeah, you, so you separate what? That's how church is separated in the church, big church. You talk to them, when you talk to them, you say, ah, I, mean, I don't joke with my title, which I'm starting. How can you be Peter this kind of time? You know who, you don't, you don't know who he is, I mean? Will you go the next time? No, you are, because you fear God. Before you talk to five C, you know, ah, this one is my group. Please come, come. Uh, uh, so he will encourage to pay more. You leave daughters who are there. Yeah, it's the same church. Those who fear God say they spoke one to what another. They talk to each other. They have found themselves from the church. In that crowd of church, they have found themselves. In the mighty mighty church, they have found themselves. This one, no, no, no. Ah, they get that, that one that, that is joking with his life. So, so me, I don't want to joke my life. I've had all God's I'm going to follow all God's So you see, they, they found themselves and began to talk to one word another. On food, they were talking to each other. You see what You see, they feared, you know, spoke one to what another. Hallelujah. Huh? They spoke one to another. And the Lord hacking what? To what they hacking to Why? They were speaking positively, so God had them. Like, like, they, like, 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 like um, uh, Caleb and what? Joshua. They spoke right things. We, we don't care about the giants. We can handle them. With them. So God said God had them. And what happened? He said they got hacking to them. Eh? And the book what? Was opened. So God's opening the book his period. Hallelujah. Of remembrance was written before him for them. 
that they spoke good of God. They talk good of God. They reduce, they bring mama down every time they talk. I mean, forget money, not God. Man. We have, so they always bring mama down. They always bring things down before God. So God said, because you are lifting me, I will lift you up. So when men say, they say, casting down. You don't cast me down, you raise me, so I will raise you up. If you don't cast down the most high, he will raise you up. If you don't cast down the most high in your discussions, he will raise you up. Don't cast down God in your talks. Don't cast him down in your mind and thoughts. Don't cast him down. I don't understand the guy. This is the good man. I don't know the person not the serve God. You are casting him down. And the king said, if I can help you, who will help you? If God can help you. Even king was looking for help when family came. The, the woman said, I've eaten my daughter. Eh? We agreed that. They agreed to eat their daughters together. Now, one, they feel one and they want to eat the one. They want, they want, they want to hide his child. I said, King, okay, look at this woman, what he did to me. We agreed that we eat our children. We are finished his own, my own night. He took his own and went to hide his own. He said, Who, if I don't, God, who will help you? If God help. So the king was also helpless. The king was helpless. The king was helpless. The king was helpless. So he said, If God would, who will help you? That even me cannot. So the person you are looking up to eh, cannot. You better don't exalt any. If don't exalt any human being, this problem. Hey, make a try. Come here. If I make contact, then I know I trust her now. No, 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 no. If you are doing that, you are going down because every man is going down. Only the most high is up. So you talk good, you talk God up. Why he will raise you up? He said they were talking about God. What he wants to hear from their mouth. They were talking about God. They were bringing Mama down and raising God up. My ever forget that thing, man. God is the ultimate. Every time you talk, God goes up. So he said, when men are also casting me down, I will cast them down. But you are raised up. And he said, they spoke one to another. They understood what they were talking about. They knew the time. They didn't follow the time. They had confidence in their God. There is a God we have in heaven. His name is Jehovah Jireh. And they shall die. I am confident in this God. It's, I'm confident. Bible say, and God Abraham was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He was singing. He wasn't talking about this. He was singing. The Bible say, he be who was already dead. Wife dead. The wife was dead. The wife has, the wife has done his job when he was young. Because he said, enjoy the wife of you, to, you to, not when you are old. That she, he said, she said, he said, he said well, my husband enjoyed this one anymore because this one is already finished. We have passed you to. I've given you give what he wants to the youth. Now, this one is his old man, woman. He's already finished. Yes, so, is it cannibal? They say, no, I'm not talking about the joy. I'm talking about the seed coming out from your womb. My God. Why? Because your husband was singing praise in the time I needed praise. Abraham was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He was magnifying God, doing the need for. He said, Abraham, go and circumcise them. You see, he began with the obedience. Abraham, go and circumcise all the men. He began, uh, old man, old man, second, at his age, he began with himself. He said, the next day, they're not to him, the next day, go and kill Isaac, the next, early the next morning. They told him this night, the early morning he was going to do it. There is no argument with God at all. He has killed his flesh. He has killed his flesh. And an old man, a journey of three, three days, he was joining for three to go and kill his own son. His own son. He woke up early in the morning. He didn't tell his wife. You know, his, wife would, his wife would agree. The old man was still in the flesh. He said, he, got, he would agree. So the old man said, come, let's go. And then this God, I know, I know, I'm not joking. I know, I'm not playing with God at all. I mean, they were, and he said to the man, so you stay, I want to go, you know, go, to, go, go to my son to go and sacrifice. And I will come back later. And that's when he came back with the son. Yes. Obedience this time. You have to kill your flesh, or else your flesh will kill you. If you don't kill your flesh, your flesh will give you sufferings. If you don't kill your flesh, they give you pain. But if you kill the flesh by obedience to God, doing the things that is painful to your body, God will raise you up. I'm telling you the truth. When men are cast down, because you by your hand, use your hand to cast your body down for God. He said, I will raise you up. <laughs> Humble yourself on, under his mighty hand and I will raise you up in due season. This is due season now. We are in due. What, what's the due? He said, in family, what they shall be satisfied. It's our season. It's our due season. It's our time. That when the world is going down, well, it's our time. It's our time. It's due. How? But they say, how do you get lifted in due season? How do you raise, how do you go up in due season? Say, they say, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Take instruction and do them. Kill your body. Respond to God. And He will raise you up this time. 
when men are going down, you are going up. My God, my God. Receive the name of Drake that glory. Take that, that, that power, man. They will shine like stars of heaven. Who evangelize. Who bring out men from hell. Go make sure you don't face hell on earth. So this time you are a, you are a, 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 you are a, you are asked to go and pull men from the fire. Book, book of Jude. You say pull them from the fire. From fire. They are going to fire. Even the physical fire is burning them already, but they also go to the main fire. But you don't look, you don't see it as saying you that's this one is on fire. This one is just hunger. But come on, come out from the real fire. Who is hell? It says you know what? I'll make sure you don't you don't experience fire also. So my father, my God, give me grace, hallelujah. My now now pray in the spirit, receive grace now, hallelujah. Receive grace. Grace to grace to respond to God <laughs> against the will of your body. Grace to respond to God against the will of your body. Without complaint. Abraham, go and circumcise the next day. No, no discussion. No go. You know, I'm very old now. No, no, no. He has right to I didn't ask God. I'm you not know, God. No, I'm very how will he heal now? No, he doesn't doesn't argue with God. He go, he began with himself. Go and kill your son. The early morning. Not that he said he, he didn't think he didn't think about it. Uh, God, like this, no, no, he doesn't think with God. Once God speaks, he goes. He took the child to go and kill the child. The next day. And they cause Abraham be a friend of God. You're only a friend by giving what instructions. Lord, give me grace to mortify my body, to put it under check, to live, put it in purity and in righteousness. The grace to keep my heart pure. The grace to keep my heart, my thought pure. Your thought must be pure. Before God will act, your thought has to be pure. You have to be pure in your thought, in your mind, and so cleansed. Then God will be always with you, working for you. For if God be for us, who can be against us? So it is time to purify, sanctify, and do His will. Lord, give me grace, O oh God. I mortify grace to mortify my members. To work for you, God, against my will and body. I need that grace to go, Mary Colabia. Asha de Calabia. Grace to lay down the seed when I should lay down seed. It doesn't look okay, but I'll lay down. Oh, take that grace, Mary Colabia. Yakati Kosula Banda Saish. Amen. Jesus, they will pray, Hallelujah. God don't want them to perish, so He says you go and save them. He wants me to, because those want He don't want them to perish. He doesn't want them to perish. Jesus wants all men saved. 1 Timothy 2 verse 4 to 4. He does not want any to perish, but that they come to repentance. 2 Peter 3 verse 9. They must come to repentance. That's his work. He wants them saved. John 10 16 says, so he said, many who are there, I will still bring in. So they are always there to, be, to bring in. Saved from fire. Saved from the wrong churches. Because some churches are, some churches are actually wrong. They are not, they are not, they are not Holy Ghost churches. Those are churches of the of, of marrying who water. They go the pastors go there to worship water. So saving them from that kind of bring them to the house of God. Save men from those kind of sins. Then God will make sure what? He you are saved from what? From the pain of the end time. Hallelujah. It's not you can't pray against famine. This no, you can't pray against that God. I don't want famine. No, it's it's already there. They can't it's the word of God, it's the will of God. Is the will of no, no, this, you can't pray against the will of will of God. So the famine is already there, it's the will of God. You are the one what do you do? You pray for your you put yourself in God. Hallelujah. In love. And then God work for you, miracles, signs and wonders. Hallelujah. So you want to shine, it's time to shine. How do you shine? Harvest of souls. Share the word of God with us. Eh? As you share the seed to the people, the human beings are a vessel. So as you share the word seed, what happens? It will have you will harvest what the blessing of the world from their lives. It's time to respond to God. Abraham does not waste time. He doesn't think about what God says. He goes to actions. He doesn't drag his foot. He doesn't drag his foot and talk about it. He doesn't man say, no, no, no. That's why you sometimes when people pray, God is dragging his foot for giving you. God is wasting time thinking if I should give. Because when it comes to God, so you're always dragging things. You're always thinking about it, analyzing the thing. That, 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 should it do? Will I do it? Will I not do it? You're, you're always dragging it. So each time your case come to God, it's always been on that drag. Also, they are dragging whether to give it to you or not or not. They are dragging it. No, it's not time to drag instructions. You go straight. You just do it, and you receive grace. Hallelujah. See, I take grace. To harvest families, hallelujah. And many more this time around. So I can shine, hallelujah. The benefits are there. And the master of Christ, huh? you are paid for, uh, from, your, from, your, from your country. 
in Zion, you go ambassador. What happens? You are paid from Zion as an ambassador of Zion. Zion pays you from heaven. And when God pays you, you are actually paid. When you went out, he said to them, When you went out, when I sent you uh, without post, did you lack, it, lack anything? Thomas was there too. They said, No, we lack nothing. That means he pays you when you're on the go. When you go, he pays you. Hallelujah. So God said to me to tell you that this Sunday morning, you are going to go out for 35 minutes to evangelize our lawyer. And he said that when you say it, I will check their heart, what they are saying in their mind. I thought, this is what is clear. He said, so this was telling me. Very clear. Because this time around, you only survive by instruction. Because if you are on the floor, they touch you on the floor. You, it's only those who fly that will we, escape it. And you fly by what instruction? Not by, you can drive car with your mind. You also know, but when it's flight, is by instruction. And if you're on the floor, it will touch you. If you're on the floor with them, it will get together. If you're on the flight, you're free. You are going with instruction. It's not by force. He says it's not by force. Because he says, if you look at that Malachi, it says, he says here, he says, he will, he says, he says, and they speak one to another. Huh? And the book of remembrance will open for them. Those who speak, who are doing the thing, eh? written before them. They wrote it down for them. These ones are doing right for them and fear, uh, fear the Lord. And that thought upon his name. They were thinking of all his God. Ah, this church, what do we do next? He's in his family, no? he's still thinking of how, what to do for church with his money. Inside the heat. Uh, he will come out. He will come out. He's inside the heat. He says, thinking about God's name. Verse 17, and they shall be mine. That is my own. God said you become his own. They, that's, this is what it means. Like, look at this. It's, uh, this one is my own. Now come and touch. They shall be mine. Says that is, I will hold. This is my own. It's my own. This is, this is not. This is my own. This is my own. They shall be mine. They be my own. My own. They will become my own. Said the Lord. If you are God's own, how would they? Who, which mouth would they sack? Which letter would they which sack? Letter. Which mouth is that? Which mouth is which mouth? Which mouth? He said, "It shall be mine." Say the Lord of hosts. <laughs> what? What? Why did he put hosts there? God of what? God of angels. War. War. I'm God of war. When they are mine, if you near them, you are dead. He said, "Say in their mind as and the Lord of hosts." Thank you, my rock, upon the hand. Huh? In that day, when I make up my jewels, my precious things, and I will spare them as a man spare his own son, that what served him. Are you here at all? Yes, you see, when you become a son, he will spare you. You get the point? Like a man that spares his son as him. So if you serve, you are spared. It's called the spared. You are spared from the Holocaust. You are spared from the Holocaust. I was in Kenaland in the CU. Somebody um, was to buy the communion. He sent 15000 for the communion. So somehow we have to drive together to the place and they got there, the mother said it's no more 12,000, it's not 20,000 for this stuff, so he has to complete it and buy it now he gave me a seed of a wristwatch hallelujah I know that, that the amount of the watch uh, was actually what he paid first so I say, I saw it back to your life the wristwatch you get the point? but because the fact that the altar wants to cry and that money for the blood wasn't enough yet for him. Eh? I saw it back. He still had to seize that amount of money in my account. Are you get the point? That amount he paid for was the amount of the wristwatch. So when I gave it back to him, the money also still came. It was an exchange of money now. But I've already given it back to him in the hostel. I'll give it back to you. I'll receive the watch as a, as a blessing, but I'll give you back to you now. That has bought my mind. How to how do how, for the blood? How it bought my mind? How do I get to go about it? He gave it to you eh, with a blessing and an addition to it. If you don't, if you don't connect to God now, there'll be issue. If you are thinking of your only your salary, no, no, no. You have to put iron on God, not on salary. See, God will not keep your. He will. He will be multiplying the thing. Multiplying the thing. If you are set now, ask God for grace. That this 35 minutes I'm going out to God, I will come back with testimonies. I will come back with harvest. <laughs> if the dead of book enter hot sun eh, and go and get two million, even if the sun is tearing their leg, it doesn't matter. 
So you know what they would, they would not say? You see, God, I tell you, they are serving money to you. Look at now. Look at this man now inside this eating sheet on the judge of the road. Look at him. <laughs> okay, look at the way they pray. Ask them to pray for money now. Raga, raga, money. You see, look at their prayer with money. You see? You see? You see, let, ask them to pray to pray in regards to your work. The Father, Lord, as we go, that let the work of God grow. You see, you see, you see, so, look, God, you see it now. It's obvious that you know the one they love more. You see, you see, you see, so that's what it does every time. But it's time to change those kind of stuff. That when they say money, you bring, you play, you play down on it, and raise God, and you crush mammon for God, and God will tell him from now, wash it from from now, serve this man. From he will tell mammo from now, serve this man, serve this man, mammo from now, serve this man, serve him. From now, serve this man. When you bring down Mamo before God, God will tell Mamo, serve this man. And when God tell Mamo, serve, he will serve. He's the most high. He will serve. He will serve. He will serve. Male so kolabandia. As I go, I don't I don't come back in this time of God. Both this one and my home out in Nola, I won't come back some of this month to God. I receive my family to come. I harvest family to this world and many more. Some spray my recola band here. I harvest families and many more. Maka as a true soldier. I'm a soldier, I'm a soldier of Christ. As a true soldier of Christ, I obey the last command. Before he left, his last command he, that was his last command. Go into the world and preach the gospel. That was his last command. I'm a soldier. I obey the last command. I'm going in the full force to preach the gospel. As I bring out men from hell, God will make sure I don't see hell in, in my physical world. I won't see hell in the physical world. I will live in abundance. Hallelujah. In famine, you shall be satisfied. Thank you, in the name of Hallelujah, Lord. Shade Kalabala Sairos. Amen. The handbills are there. We're sold out. The children are, are taken care of. You sold out. You can go in two by two. Hallelujah. We just go around and our neighborhood there. It's neighborhood. We just go around the neighborhood. Uh, opposite everywhere. Just go around and tell them about Jesus Christ. We tell them why you are home by this time. You should be in church. That's why I want to go now. So you can't tell me you're joking from church now. That's how to go. So why you are home by now? You get the point? Why you are home by now? He says, that's to me. I come to church. This time, the way the country is going now, we need we go, they'll say yes. You know, so we need God now. Yes, the way things they go now, he say, oh God, I truly go. They will tell everybody agrees that we need God now. It's famine time. Only God can help right now. Receive grace in the name of Hallelujah. As you go, you go safely. Your harvest will be very, very fast. They'll be waiting for you on the street. Hallelujah. You come and test my lawyer. This first day of the week, as you obey God joyfully from your heart, this first day of the week, this first instruction of the week. If you do with joy, I'm telling you true. Before Wednesday, you'll be shocked with something like I'm telling you, I'm telling you true. I'm not talking to you, vain talk. As I hear, I'm telling you what I'm telling you. I, said, I stood, I went, they, they, I came late to minister's conference. They are fin- I was there on Friday, and I came this way. I didn't hear anyone. I, don't, I wasn't a part of it. But the Lord said to me, but those who came at 11, how I got all the blessings. I said, how do I do this? He said, just let. He said, go to the altar. Not now. I sat down. I said, when? He said, wait. So when all, people went and they were praying in the altar, heard the altar, they said, all those persons, Reggae, they saw we sit on the papa's chair. Rakata, ba, ba, ba. Rakata, ba. I said, God, I've been doing this every day. I'm not getting anything. He said, relax. I will talk to you what to do. I sat down. Then the voice of God is very powerful. Amen. I so, so that's all my, my request. This Shiloh. I said, open my ear to begin to hear. Clear. Because without hearing this time, there's no way out. So, I, so, so he said to me, now you can move. I moved. Towards the altar. As I was going towards the altar, he said, Now, this altar you're going to meet, who is bigger than you or the altar? I said, The altar is bigger. He said, So don't say any word. Just put hand and draw from it because the, he said, By all, the less what? It does what? Blessed by, by the higher. The less is blessed by what? The higher. So if you believe this higher than you, don't talk. I just, I just kept it. As I kept my hand there, I didn't talk. Five minutes I didn't talk. I was looking at it just like this. And it came boom, into my body. I, I saw it enter my body. All of us were looking at me. Now, you know, they, they, because, see, if anytime you do instruction, <laughs> people can sense it. So I went to the o- upper one, the upper altar. I put my hand like this. No talk. I just get well. I just stay like this. No discussion. Waiting for them to flow. Because the, the higher one is one that flows. So I said, all the things I didn't get from here. As, is it not, is it, is it because the spirit entered what the altar when they were speaking. So I, I was there on the altar. After a while, my God, it came like wide wind. 
I could feel the, the noise. It came from my hand and entered me, and the oil was flowing down like this. Okay, I said, I received in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody entered. Everybody, everybody, all the prayer, every, all the noise ceased. Nobody was talking anymore. I didn't tell you what happened. As I, as I left, I went in the co- there was as I was leaving there, there was a I, there was I was inside something. I was inside. I was. I was. Inside, it was like I was. Thunder was. I was inside something as I was leaving that place. Inside something. That thing I came to receive the name of Take it. Take it. Take it. It's going to go with you out now. For harvest. For harvest of souls. It's going to go with you for the harvest of souls. That stuff that enveloped my body. We go with you for this harvest of soul. Don't don't joke with these things. Male Koraban the Fek Yuligos. They get over by a calabonda. They they both sabalade. Ebe Koba, Yadaso by a lot of Holy Spirit, thank you. 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 All the glory to God. All the glory to God. Teach me, Lord. Come to give all. To Him, my life. Don't let me have all the glory. Let me, Lord. Give me all the glory to me. Let me be the Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I put your life in this, in this campus. I put your life. Anyone that takes it must come to this church and they establish my own This campus carries your life, O oh God. Monday can happen to impart souls as we go out. We are not joking this time around. We are taking our territories. We are taking our money. We are taking our jobs. We are taking our blessings. No more holding back. We are take- it was this year that Adebu came and climbed and said he's pointing to one oil something. So some of you are going to enter into oil businesses. Hallelujah. We are taking what is us. In family, they shall be satisfied. Mashede be konto la balandia, dege be konte bari kalabondia, reke be supro kolabaya, because you are taking back what devils took from you. Le ziba kaso kolabaya, jike be supro kolabaya, deke de katu kolabaya, ba yeke su la balandia. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. You are taking back. You are taking back what the devil took from you. Sati kalabanda, shara la suru. Party Kuba Kadaroka Yadabanda Kadosh Rabba Kando Kariba Baba Baba Kasika Barako da la Bronda Kanda Rendeke le Bronda Kinda Bahanda Kuzaka Yadabosh Akarabo Kariba Bakanda la Kunda Rabosha Kamba Yada Riba Kanda Libre Kenda Sukanda Rabo Karabosh Ata Bada 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 Be feel with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. The spirit of possibilities that makes all things possible for you. That makes famine a time of abundance. And he moved quails from the sea. Holy Ghost moved quails. They couldn't count it. So it is he's the one that carries meat. He carries food. But he, he waves the mail into your storehouse. And every day of your life, he was bringing it every day. They fill the camp with food and meat. That's who the Holy Ghost is. So if you serve the Holy Ghost, he will fill your storehouse every day. Every day and every day. 
every day, every day, every day. He will fill the storehouse every day. Every day, every day, every day, every day. There was meat and bread for heaven for 40 years. 40 years. A faithful God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my God. You will not stop praying your life anymore. I release on you the spirit of grace and supplication to stay in prayer continually. At least the engine of the prayer, the engine of the Holy Ghost, praying engine of the Holy Ghost, I switch it on in your system, your spirit. The engine to pray and that continuously, I fix in your spirit man from today. I receive sin, my local love. Kati kubara sa Jesus, bigalo salabonde aish. Ikati zubara sa aish. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Quickly, we shall serve in two groups. Hallelujah. Pastor Francis and um, Daddy Jasmine. Hallelujah. And uh, Pastor Oneme, we just shall serve and quickly go. There is 35 minutes. Oh, 40. That is 40. 40. Hallelujah. Because they were dead for 40 years. Because I was looking at Now I'm going to rescue them. This 40 minutes. It's quick response, quick actions, quick movement. Uh, the soul will give you a chance. Hallelujah. Just go quickly and do it. We're all going to be a part of it. Hallelujah. We will drive down to the other end. And our former area down. And then this would the flyers there too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Receive grace now. Hallelujah. Lord bless you. Let's be on our feet and <coughs> get this in done in 30 minutes. Say, Kosobak, our bodies.